How's it going bros? Welcome back. Today I'm playing a new game on the channel called Art of War Red Tides and what this game is, it originally came out on PC for Steam, it's now on mobile. Kind of different, I'm going to show you how it works. You have casual matches, ranked matches, you can play 1v1, you can play 3v3. There are three armies, I only have two unlocked right now, Terran, Atlic, and I think you say this, Yagua, or something like that. Uh, so those are the three and basically under each uh, army or each race, you have all these different units. I don't have all of them unlocked. I've got a couple unlocked. Different units, air, ground, defensive, mechanical, all this stuff. And you just go against an enemy and smash it up. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Pretty cool game. We're gonna go into, let's just go into casual match because I suck. Uh, and we're gonna go to quick play and then we can go 1v1 or 3v3. We're gonna go 1v1 because I don't wanna be a burden on my teammates. All right, we're about to get into a match here and I can pick either race. I'm gonna pick Ter Terran because that's the one I've been playing with at like I just barely unlocked. But I'll show you guys exactly how this works. Basically, there's gonna be different waves. Every 15 seconds, you have a wave of troops that you can deploy and then everything smashes up in the middle. You have to pay attention to what they have, bring in stuff that counters it. And then as you build up, you're building up currency as the game progresses. The graphics in this game are pretty amazing. And the fact that it's multiplayer, real-time PVP, either 1v1 or 3v3. So right now you can see up in the upper right corner there, uh, you have, what, like 15 seconds left. So I can bring in my first wave and I'm gonna bring in this troop right here. And we will, if I hold it, see if I do it right. Yep, if I hold it, I can bring in six of these guys. So this will be my first wave and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So you have these turrets in the base, right? So my troops are coming in. There's just little eggs in the middle. Not exactly sure what the eggs do. This guy's holding back. But it, once you like unlock these little eggs, then a uh, dinosaur pops out. So I just wrecked him and I'm gonna be doing that. You see in the uh, other corner up here in the upper left, it's got some gems and some gold coins. That is my currency. And that, I'm gonna turn up the game since you guys get here. That is my currency that's building up over time. So we want to take our time, build up currency, and then we'll start to bring in some more heavy troops. Wave after wave, another wave is about to deploy here, you see it. And then I'll show you guys a couple of the special abilities here in a minute. But a lot of stuff going on Dominate. over here in the left corner. You can take a look at your mind rating, your soul asset storage over here. It's telling you if you have some upgrades available, which I'll upgrade some stuff in a minute. So this guy's bringing these bow guys and they're really good. And he's also bringing in some snipers. So I'm building up a lot of gems now and I'll show you guys. We do have enough to upgrade. All right, so we've upgraded him. Let me go ahead and up the production of him. I'm gonna keep it at five. We'll bring in some more troops to back up. Everything this guy, let's see what he is. This, oh, this is the flamethrower. So he's gonna go ahead, nice area of effect damage. He's gonna come in there and just do absolute wreck on all these guys with these, uh, with these bows, these crossbows. So we're still mashing up in the middle. I'm building a lot of currency now. You see, in the, again, in the upper right corner, it shows I have a lot more gems than him, a lot more currency than him. So that's gonna be good for me. Let's see if I can upgrade this guy. We can. So we're gonna continue to upgrade this guy, giving him more health, giving him more damage. And watch those guys just absolutely clear everything out, the flamethrowers. I'm starting to get a little bit overwhelmed. I'm gonna take the production down on these guys and we're gonna add in something else now. You're gonna see these other ones. Um, this is uh, anti-air and it also it has does ground as well, but it's really, really expensive. This here is going to show me if they have any uh, troops that are cloned or invisible. It'll be able to show those, not cloned, cloaked. So what we're going to do is we have enough currency. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this bad boy in. There it is. Now I'm starting to push further to him and I'm about to get this giant egg in the middle, whatever the heck that means. Over here I'm gonna have some special abilities. I'll show you guys. What this one here, let me hold it. This one is airborne. Oh yeah, this is gonna bring in a thing. It's gonna drop my troops. So we're gonna bring in an airborne right now here. We're gonna come on in. I'm pushing more on their side and the waves of troops are starting to come. I've got more gems than he has. Here comes my airborne. Those, those guys with bows are gonna absolutely wreck me. And then I'm gonna bring in a rally point right around this. Actually, hold on, let's see what happens when I get this dragon. Because that is about to happen. There's the dragon. So I think what happens is, once that egg goes down, now I get the dragon, so I'm gonna start wrecking. I'm gonna put in a rally cry here, and my currency is building up even more. So we're gonna bring in this bad boy. What does this guy do? Still learning the troops, Mar Marauder. Defense unit, launch missiles against mechanical units. 
Very cool. Can I upgrade them? I will upgrade them. A lot of stuff, once you upgrade, will unlock uh, additional abilities. All right. We can do another airborne, or we can save for a missile attack. We've got 688 gold right now. Once we hit 1,000 gold, I'll be able to do a missile attack, but this is bad. He's actually counter-pushing right now. I have still three turrets. He only has two, and the waves continue to come in. So there's a lot of intricacies to this game that I don't know yet. A lot going on on the screen. I know I'm a noob. I know a lot of people like this game on PC. Um, I'm just unfamiliar with it, so I apologize that I don't know everything. All right, I think I almost have enough for the missile. We're gonna start moving in, and I'm gonna just blast all of this crap here in a second. Now, he's building up a lot more currency than me. I think I overspent. I'm a little bit nervous about that, but let's go ahead and bring in the missile. Come on, come on. I wonder if I wasted it. That was, that was a beauty. That was a beauty. I might need to take back some of these expensive units that I've been building. Let's stop building some of these guys and bring in some of the lower stuff. We're going to upgrade this guy again. But we need more flamethrowers to herd, herd everything out. It also shows my KD over here at a .84. And there's other statistics going on. Again, I don't know everything yet. But my KD is not so hot. It's not even one. I'm losing more troops. So those... Oh, bringing in air. And I'm doing anti-air here with... Uh, what is this? With the Sentinel. So that's been working out for me. Now we're doing a bunch of work. Okay, we're definitely going to bring an airborne, and we're going to rally around this point. It's time. This is a rallying cry. It's going to bring all my poison on the flag, and it's time to wreck. Hopefully, I don't have a lot of area of effect damage right now. My KD continues to drop. Okay, Dragon of Essence is right on the battlefield slate to get a larger amount of Soul Essence. And again, I don't even know what the Soul Essence is. I think that might be the green stuff. All right, let's go ahead and bring some more of these guys in. And, we, and we're starting to build up currency once again. But we're spending it quickly. Another wave coming in five seconds. This turret's gonna go down. So this is my boy. He's getting wrecked. That's pretty awesome. So I think that's because I unlocked that egg in the middle. I have no idea. If you guys play this game, let me know how this dragon works. But he just... Oh, or was that his dragon? That was his. That must have been that soul essence. And I just got a bunch of those green gems. That's what it is. Now I'm all green. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring in another airborne to give us some help and this turret's going to go down quickly because we're moving in quick now anything else we need let's see what this guy does siege tank the tank's active ability gives it the longest range of all units high damage area of effect it will decelerate after getting into the battlefield Dominating. okay let's bring it in why not we can afford it i think i've got some upgrades available that's going to give me stun is at hand, Commander. Okay, this is good. So now we're moving into the base. Again, still learning this game. There's a lot. I watched some YouTube videos trying to get some tutorials and stuff because the tutorial is pretty short. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of crap going on that I don't realize. The different races each have troops. You can change the troop composition that you bring in, kind of like a Clash Royale where you can change your deck. You could do the same thing here. And look at this. I have so much in there. He's going to have to bomb the crap out of me. There's nothing he's going to be able to do. We're going to bring in Airborne. We're bringing the rallying cry, and we are just about there. This is, we're gonna smash this thing up. Now we're all the way to the base. He's gonna try to missile strike me now, but it's too late. We got the win, we got the victory. That's casual match. You can go and play ranked as well, but I'm not good enough for ranked yet. You can unlock, I'll show you real quick. Level four. So I just unlocked infiltrator and anti-tank gun. Okay, cool, and then I'll, I'll unlock some other stuff as I rank up. There's a little chest for me to open. Let me show you how you can actually uh, change your troop composition. We'll look right now into the army setup. So my army setup over here, this is where I can come in and I can change. I can rename uh, what my deck is. I call it a deck, but you can bring in other stuff and replace it and build out your troop selection, your troop composition. Make sure you have a good, well-rounded uh, troop composition with, you know, stuff that's anti-air, ground, area of effect, and so on, and tanks. Uh, do appreciate you guys supporting. Download links in the description. Again, this is Art of War, uh, Red Tides, sponsored by them. Peace!